But anyways, victory formation, the last segment here. So the NCAA Council, D1 Council proposes eligibility changes for fall student athletes. And I'll get into this. So according to Spot, uh, Scott Pol- Polasek of the Bleacher Report, per NCAA's website, the council decided Wednesday that any fall student athlete who participates in this year in this year or competes this year admit to COVID-19 pandemic will not lose a season of eligibility. So Nicole Erbach uh, the, of the Athletic added that should the proposal go into effect, current seniors would not count against the scholarship limit in 2021. And the NCAA Board of Governors uh, will be um, is set to approve this uh, proposal on Friday. So they still have to vote for it. This is this is good news for a lot of the players that are like, hey, you know, we didn't have a full time. You know, we didn't have spring ball to practice for this. Uh, we didn't have summer ball to practice for this. So we're kind of going in and now we don't know if we're going to be playing. So even though they lost spring ball, they lost, you know, practicing in the summer, the NCAA, hopefully they approve this proposal. The, that will allow the players to play this season, potentially. Um, well, it's saying if, yeah, if they compete, uh, will not use a, lose an eligible, like eligibility. So any t- let's say that the ACC, the SEC, and the Big 12 end up playing. Uh, in the fall, if they end up playing, they still that doesn't count towards their eligibility, which is good because you obviously have seniors there. And now they, they specifically stated that seniors would not count against the scholarship limit in 2021 because each school has a limited number of scholarships they can have at the time on the team. And you can't over you can't go over that number. You can't uh, extend yourself on scholarships like you can't just pull them out of thin air. Now, teams have found ways to, to, you know, schools have found ways to try to get around that and provide, like, financial aid, stuff like that, um, you know, to the walk-ons and stuff. But this is good for seniors because, like, hey, you know, I want to put my best foot forward. I want to try to get to the NFL. You know, I didn't have a full, you know, full set of training in spring and and summer. So I don't know if I'm going to be ready for the fall or maybe I, I could play better. You know, I could I could have performed better if I had all of that additional practice. NCAA is taking that into account, and hopefully, again, that they approve this on Friday, they will be able to play and then also have that extra year of eligibility, and they wouldn't have to worry about their scholarship counting towards the school, um, so the schools wouldn't mind that as well. So that's, you know, the whole COVID situation is unfortunate. This is finally something that the NCAA is actually trying to produce that uh, that kind of combats the COVID, or the, the COVID environment. So I'm, I'm curious to see how th- that plays out as well. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you like this ruling? Do you think that it should pass? Do you think it shouldn't pass? And uh, what other things that you want to see from the NCAA to kind of combat the COVID environment and what these athletes have to go through? Because some of them in the, in the Power Five, again, Big Ten, Pac-12, they have suspended their season for the fall, and they are likely, it's not guaranteed, but they're likely to resume in the spring. The Big Ten, or the Big 12, the ACC, the SEC are saying they're going to play in the fall. Um, so what, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section below if you're watching on YouTube. But anyways, that is the end of the podcast. Again, I appreciate all of you for your patience. These past few weeks has been crazy busy, but we are going to get back on track Remember to subscribe on YouTube at the Chuck It Up podcast, as well as your favorite podcast platform. If you're at work, if you're, you know, if you're working from the home office, if you're on a run, if you go into the gym, if the gyms have reopened in your location, make sure you download the Chuck It Up podcast on your favorite podcast platform. We are on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, and a whole bunch more. But make sure you look out for that. We got fire content coming from you or for you. And uh, we appreciate all your support. No real talk, but... Always remember that action turns knowledge into power, and we'll see you next episode. Peace. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more Fire Sports Takes. And for those of you who are on the go, make sure you subscribe to our full show, which airs every Thursday on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and a bunch more. Until then, I'm checking it up, and I'll see you guys next time.